In this video, we will be dealing with anastomosis around the scapula. In this section, we will discuss about the arteries taking part in anastomosis around the body of scapula and the arteries taking part in anastomosis around the acromion process. And we will draw the diagram of anastomosis around the scapula and we will discuss a few MCQs on this topic. First, we will discuss about anastomosis around the body of scapula. Let's draw the vehicle first. The capula. Spine of the scapula. This is the acromion. So this artery is the first part of circulating artery. So this is the first part of circulating. Okay, from the first part of circulating artery, The branch arises. So this branch which is arising from the first part of subclavian artery is known as the thyrocervical trunk. This is known as thyrocervical trunk. So from the thyrocervical trunk a branch arises which is known as the suprascapular artery. This is the suprascapular artery. This is suprascapular artery. And the suprascapular artery is the branches here on the body of scapula. The suprascapular artery also gives acromial branches here. This is one artery which is taking part in anastomosis around the body of scapula. This is suprascapular artery. We label it as one. And you see another branch which is arising from the thyrocervical trunk. This branch is known as the transfer cervical artery. The branch is known as transfer cervical artery. And the transfer cervical artery is of a branch which is known as the deep cervical branch of transverse cervical artery. So this is known as this artery is known as deep cervical branch of transverse cervical artery. Deep cervical branch of transfer cervical artery. It gives out branches here. And this is the second artery which is taking place in anastomosis around the body of scapula. We label this as number 2. And we will draw the third part of axillary artery here.
to this is third part of axillary artery and the third part of axillary artery is out a branch which is known as subscapular artery this branch is known as subscapular artery which is a branch of third part of axillary artery we know that the subscapular artery gives out a branch known as the circumflex scapular artery this is circumflex scapular artery this this is a third artery which is taking part in anastomosis around the scapula labeled as number 3 so this three arteries make an astomosis here on the body of scapula. We see an anastomosis here. So arteries. forming the anastomosis the artery which is labeled as one is the suprascapular artery which is a branch of thyro cervical branch which is again a branch of first part of subclavian artery so label one are suprascapular artery which is a brand of thyro cervical trunk which is a brand of first part of subclavian artery we see the second artery which is forming the anastomosis that is labeled as 2 this is the deep cervical branch of transverse cervical artery deep cervical branch of transverse cervical artery And the transverse cervical artery, this one is a branch of thyro cervical trunk, which is a branch of first part of the clavian artery. And the third artery which is taking part in anastomosis around the body of scapula is labeled as 3 that is the circumflex scapula artery. This is a branch of subscapular artery which is a branch of third part of axillary artery
so we see that the three arteries are suprascapular arteries these cervical bones are transverse cervical arteries circumflex scapular artery you can see that anastomoses are formed between the branches of first part of subclavian artery and the branches of third part of axillary artery so anastomosis formed between branches of first part of subclavian artery and third part of axillary artery. This point has to be remembered. So the purpose of this anastomosis is that in case if the first and second part of axillary artery is blocked, the anastomotic connection between the first part of subclavian artery and the third part of axillary artery will restore the circulation. So that is the purpose of this or the advantage of this anastomosis. Now we will discuss about anastomosis around the acromion process. Again, draw the diagram. This is fine, and this is the acronym. So, you the first part of the pain matter. It's the third part of axillary artery. And this one. It's the second part of axillary artery. Uh, first part of clavian, second part of axillary, this is the third part of axillary. So you know that the first part of uh, subclavian artery. These are the thyrocervical trunk, which gives rise to a branch known as suprascapular artery. And the suprascapular artery gives out an acromial branch. So this is labeled as one. So the first one is what? This is the acromial branch of. Suprascapular artery. The suprascapular artery, this one, is a branch of thyrocervical trunk. This is a branch of First part of subclavian artery. So 
دوستان باید سرفی ایتو سپیکنگ بردیل هم از کنیز و سلام در اکومه ما نویسی به آنه هفیز در سکن بارد و اکلم یادو گیف رایز تو برانش مانه دوراکو اکروم لاتوی ان دوراکو اکروم لاتوی گیف رایز تو ان اکروم برانش سو در اکلم ایتو سلیم اندس تو فرس اکرومیل برانچ اف دوراکو اکرومیل آرتری یس دوراکو اکرومیل آرتری از برانچ او یکن پارت اف اکسلری آرتری We will see that the result of posterior circumflex humeral artery which is arising from the third part of the axillary artery and the posterior circumflex humeral artery has got an ascending branch which also supplies the acromis. This is known as ascending branch of posterior circumflex humeral artery which is a branch of third part of the axillary artery. We label it as number 3. Number 2 artery is the ascending branch of posterior circumflex humeral artery. which is a branch of a part of axillary artery. So these are the three arteries which are taking part in anastomosis around the acromion. This is the anastomosis. That's all about the anastomosis around this scapula. Now we will discuss some questions from this part. First question is anastomosis around the scapula is where the connection of. So we have seen that anastomosis around the scapula is connecting the first part of subclavian artery and the third part of axillary artery. So option B that is first part of subclavian artery with the third part of axillary artery is the correct option. Option B is the correct answer. Second question is all arteries are involved in anastomosis around the scapula exit. Circumflex scapula which is a branch of subscapular artery which is a branch of third part of axillary artery is involved in anastomosis around the scapula. And suprascapular artery is also involved. The infrascapular artery is not involved. We know that transverse cervical is also involved. So option C is the answer. And in this is the question. Identify the artery marked as Y. This is the artery which is marked as Y. We know that this is arising in the subscapular artery. So this is a subscapular artery which is a branch of third part of axillary artery. In the subscapular artery, an artery is arising, winding around the lateral wall of scapula. This is definitely the circumflex scapula branch of subscapular artery. Circumflex scapula artery. So that artery number one is the tyrocervical trunk. Two is transverse cervical artery. Four is supra scapular artery. Three is this is third one. This is a deep cervical branch of transverse cervical artery. So that's all about anastomosis around the scapula. To see more videos from our channel, please subscribe the channel. Thank you.